PT on deck, and welcome back to Soul Calibur 6's Libra of Soul. And we have a new weapon style. Uh, it looks like we are running the Mitsurugi's uh, fighting style now with a level 48 sword. Hide in shadow. Let me show that off real quick. We got it all leveled up, and with a whole bunch of different bonuses, we get health recovery on the reversal edge, 10% damage dealt as HP, and we get recovery at the start of each round. And with all those bonuses, we get a 130% damage bonus now, and a critical rate of 23% with our good affinity. So, we're just gonna try to run this Mitsurugi style after mastering Raphael's. So we're just gonna see how it runs now, and we're gonna start with this side quest. The Taming of the Shrew, the Mysterious Swordsman, and it looks like we have three contacts. I came across a swordsman engaged in battle with a band of thieves on a grassy plain. In an attempt to even the balance, I readied my weapon and moved in. Let's bring some food, uh, just in case, because there's three of them and only one of me, and hopefully we can just hop back into it uh, with this new fighting style. Let's go with middle attack damage. Ooh, frog legs. Frog legs sound good. I could hear the sound of swords clashing in the distance, letting the sound guide me. I eventually came upon a lord swordsman fighting what appeared to be a group of brutish bandits. The swordsman was easily holding his own, despite being outnumbered over 10 to 1. He was obviously a considerably skilled fighter. I'll only say this one time. Tell me where your hideout is. You're pretty confident for someone going against this many of us. <laughs> Fine, we'll tell you, but you'll have to beat all of us first. The bandit was in no time surrounding the swordsman. He may have been strong, but the odds were stacked against him. I decided to lend a helping hand and at least draw away those at his back. Oh, only horizontal attacks? Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm fine. Mr. Rugi's fight style is perfect for this one. Oh, he has Mr. Rugi's style, too. Wow. That was nuts. Not bad, if things were different, I'd love to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you and see what you really got. Swordsman, having already defeated his enemies, was now looking at me. I asked him if I had stuck my nose in where it didn't belong by helping him. No, I appreciate your help. I'm in a hurry and didn't want to waste time dealing with all of them. Thank you. After extending his thanks, he introduced himself as Huang Song Yong. I nodded and told him my name. Bollocks, huh? You seem pretty strong. I've got a favor to ask you. Wong explained to me that he was escorting his master's daughter back to their hometown when they got separated. He stated that she was most likely taken by the bandits and is probably being held against her will at their hideout. I lost my family, so my master has been like a father to me, which means his daughter is kind of like my little sister. If anything happens to her, I'll never be able to forgive myself. Wong looked down a bit, at, looked down at the bandits at his feet. According to what I was able to squeeze out of these guys, there are a lot more of them waiting at their hideout. I don't plan on throwing in the towel anytime soon. But I might be able to be biting off more than I can chew if I go there alone. Can I count on you to help me out? I nodded and told him we should hurry if we want to save his master's daughter. Although he seemed surprised by my response, he thanked me once again. Thanks. I'm glad you feel that way. The bandit's base of operation is supposedly in the mountains. Let's wait until night before sneaking in. Heck yeah. Oh, we got a little, very little experience points for Mitsurugi's fights out there. That's nuts. Oh, it looks like we're gonna fight Song Mina? Right. Wong and I made our way to the Thieves' Hideout, expecting to be greeted by a host of bandits. Instead, we were greeted with the sound of silence. You know what? Just because I'm overly cautious, let's get that middle attack bonus. We eventually found the bandits' hideout nestled deep in the forest in the mountains. Let's split up and attack them from both sides. I'll slip behind their camp and hit them from the back. You can handle yourself pretty well, but there are a lot of them. Be careful. I made my way through the dark forest after Huang left. Just when I thought I should have reached the hideout, it dawned on me that I hadn't encountered any guards or lookouts. Something was wrong, and that's when I said someone was behind me. I spun around and just in time to see a figure striking at me. 
Yeah. You parried my attack. You must be the leader of the bandits then. You're too late. I already took care of all your lackeys. The woman readied her weapon. You're the only one left. Prepare to face justice. Battle one. Fight! Let's go. I'm not! Ow! Oh my god, you broke my pants! Why did she break my pants? I didn't even notice that. Oh crap. Get that mid hit. There we go. Woo! That was a good counter for her. I'm surprised that he doesn't make You still lose to a petty thief. Need help? But I'm not a thief. I know I look like one, but I'm not, I swear. Ugh, not bad, but there's no way I'm letting an evildoer like you get away with this. Fight me one more. Stop, Mina. He's not one of the bandits. Huang appeared from the direction of the hideout and stopped the woman. Huh? Huang? What are you doing here? I came here looking for you. It's great you got rid of the bandits, but couldn't you have at least told me you were coming here before you left? Uh, I, uh, I really worked up and just kind of ran off. Mina. We can't protect our country if you just make if you're just making all the moves, right? I'm sorry. When I asked Wong about the leader of the bandits, he replied he had taken care of him. Mina, I asked this person to lend me a hand in dealing with the bandits. Oh, okay, I'm sorry I mistook you for one of them and attacked. You're not hurt. Wait a sec. Pollock, is that you? Whoa, it's been a while. I couldn't see your face before, so I had no idea. How have you been? We celebrate our reunion with a quick, pleasant chat. Huang looked relieved to see Song Mina happy. So you attacked someone you knew without realizing who it was? What would you have done if you actually heard him? I asked Mina if she had found Soul Edge. She shook her head. No, I haven't found it. But that's okay. A lot happened after I met you. I realize now I don't need that sword to protect my country. Because we are going to protect it. Mina's eyes were filled with determination. She seemed far more mature than she had when we last met. Thanks again for your help earlier, Pollux. We're going to head back now, but if you happen to be back in our neck of the woods, stop by the Song Yaojang. A warrior like you is always welcome there. I'll keep training so I'm able to beat you up when you show up. That was nice that they had that little reunion. I was curious when she was going to mention if she saw me before, but... That's kind of cool that they, they did that. That was actually really awesome to see. Ooh, what's over... Oh, so I guess we could go back to Korea then now. Ooh. We want... Wait, this was a search for strength, right? No bounty. Nah, let's, uh... Let's go back... Let's go see Korea, because it looks like something popped up there. Oh, it is her. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh, made it in one piece. Let's go. Mina's machination reunion. On my way to Song Dojang, I happened across Mina training in a meadow. But why was she not practicing at the Dojang? Let's cheese it a little bit and get some food. Uh, what bonuses can we run? Critical edge damage? Yeah, let's run that. I saw a woman practicing fighting techniques alone in a sprawling meadow. Although I had not yet reached the Dojang, it seemed I had come across a worthy opponent. Huh? Well, if it isn't Pollux, so you finally came. Mina came over, running over to me with a big smile on her face. I asked her why she was training outside of the town. The Dojang was starting to get a little stuffy, as I, so I thought a change of scenery would do me some good. As I turned out, Mina's father, Han Myung, was keeping a watchful eye over her to ensure she didn't run away again. Seems Mina had not fully regained her father's trust yet. I told him I committed to protecting my country and won't go anywhere, but he won't believe me. It's so irritating. 
Mina pursed her lips in frustration, but before long a smile returned to her face. Anyway, enough about that. So Pollux, since you happen to stop by, we should have a quick sparring match. I couldn't beat you before, but I've been training and have gotten a lot better. So get ready to lose big time. Battle one. Fight! That was actually a real fight. Come on, Song Mina. She was tougher when in the other side. In the other side, but oh no, it's what she's doing. Yeah, she is. I'm going for all my vulnerabilities right now. Or openings. Nice. She dodged that really well. Crap. Ow! Oh my gosh. I'm doing horrible. Oh, I need to win this, please. Yeah, that was really close. I'm not really familiar with Mitsuru's fighting style or uh, combo, so it seems like I'm spamming. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Yup. Ow. Holy crap. I can't. There's my payback. Oh, what? My counter didn't hit her counter? Nope. Holy crap. I need to stop whipping these hits. Please give it to me. Yeah. Need help? Ah, this stinks. It looks like I'm not the only one that got stronger. I guess I have to devote even more time to my training. Oh, that reminds me. Mino no longer saw and quickly raised her head. Would you mind doing a little something for me? I nodded and told her that if there was anything I could do, I would do it. Morale isn't what it used to be at the dojang these days. Huang and my father are busy and spend a lot of time away. So what I want to ask you is... In order to fill the pupils of the Song dojang with a sense of purpose again, she requested that I show up and pretend to, to challenge the dojang to a fight for their honor. Uh, now that I think about it, if we cause a stir like that at the dojang, my father might get really upset again. Okay, I'll bring the others here instead. Alright, let's meet up here again later. Thanks for agreeing to help. Your soul surges in your body. Well, what's that one to the north there? I'm curious now. Wait, wait, wait. Before, hang on, Mina. Oh, she's the bounty. Okay, yeah, Mina's Machinations, the challenger. In order to inspire the pupil's fighting spirits, Mina asked me to pretend I was a challenger seeking to defeat the Dojang. I accepted and soon found myself faced with a group of warriors in training, hungry for battle. So we got four, five? Holy crap, this is gonna suck. It's gonna be rough. Um, let's get the damage bonus. That definitely would be really good. Yeah, let's do that. I waited at the location we agreed on, and soon Mina arrived with a group of pupils in tow. So you're the fool picking a fight with our Dojang, huh? You don't know who you're messing with. Hm, he doesn't look so tough. We don't need to bother lading Mina with this one. Yeah, that's right. We got more than enough to handle this fool. Time to see what you're made of. I had no idea what Mina told them, but whatever she said certainly fired them up. Wait a minute, where's Yon Xiong? I don't see him anywhere. Wait, he's here? I mean, <clears throat> yeah, about him. He's obsessed with Master Huang, so it looks like he's not interested in defending the Dojang's honor. Even though you asked him to join us, he mentioned something about there being no point in joining if Master Huang wasn't going to be there, then went off somewhere. He probably snuck away back into the Coast Guard again. Does anyone over there even care anymore? 
You're kidding me. If there's anyone I wanted here, it's him. Oh, well. Mina turned to me and shouted. You there! You must think pretty highly of yourself if you think you can take us on. You're about to see that song technique is nothing to take lightly. All right, everyone. Let's do this. Oh, if I knew only vertical were effective, I probably would have been good at vertical bombs. Okay, it's a little bit easier. Ow. Did it say that vertical attacks were effective? I should probably read the brief more. Oh, that's a big whip. Oh, she kicked my back. And took my shirt off. And my glove. Ow. And my armor. Oh my god. She broke my upper back. Oh, that was a big whip. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, that was another big whip. Oh, crap. There's still two more after this guy. Crap. I thought verticals were effective. Why do they feel ineffective right now? I don't know any other verticals, I'm just gonna spam this one. It was, oh, it was effective. Here we go. Good fight. Lady Mina lost? How is he this strong? Lady Mina? Uh... No, I can't believe I lost! Not again! Again? Mina, if you'd have forgotten this was all an act. Listen up, everyone! This isn't good enough! We have to return to the Dojang and train even harder! Lady Mina's right. Let's go. As though everything had gone according to Mina's plan, somehow. Filled with a new sense of purpose, she and her pupils made her way back to the Dojang, having seemingly forgotten all about my challenge. As they left, Mina quickly turned around and waved at me with a grin on her face. I waved goodbye to her, then promptly set off myself. I hope to see her again someday, once things have calmed down. This is the longest year ever. We've somehow traveled the world several times over, and it's still 1586. I just noticed that. <laughs> Alright, let's continue the main quest line then, it looks like. Unless that's a... Is that an important side quest down there? Oh, there's one up there? Hang on. Quick little uh, check. Strength, search, bounty, and... We still need to fight this tribe. Alright, we're going. Stolen power. By the time I reached the and I agreed to meet, it had been turned into a battlefield, as one of the qualifiers had been one step ahead of us. These outfits look goofy. But you know what? Wait, what do we got here? What do we got here? Critical edge damage. I don't think I've ever done critical edges, but we'll see. At the rendezvous point, at the rendezvous point, a glamorous battle was taking place between the qualifiers and the evil organization. My eyes fell upon an injured Dion. At least you made it. It was Aswell. We tried to slow him down, but he broke through our lines. You go on ahead, Pollux. We will deal with the threat here. I left Dion and Natalie and headed for the actual Fisher. Soon found my path blocked by qualifier warriors. You know, I like the white and the red, but the black underline just seems a little weird to me. Like the underclothes. I don't know, it just looks like a maid outfit somehow. Or the top does. Fight. 
Okay. Oh, she countered my counter. What was she gonna do? Just charge at me? I never figured out what that number is by the uh, Soul Edge sword there, like under the name. I never understood what that meant. How did I get Soul Charged? I'd wasted too much time. Frustrated, I hurried out of the forest, only to find Aswell and no actual Fisher in sight. You didn't make it easy for me, but still, you have failed spectacularly. I have claimed the Ashel Fisher for myself. Hmm, where's my darling grow? I simply love to watch him squirm and suffer on that razor-thin line between reason and malice. Allow me to share something wonderful with you. I'm nearly there, you know. Just a little more. One measly Ashel Fisher, and I shall be able to summon the swords and achieve ultimate power. Well, how does it feel to be on the brink of defeat? You must feel so delightfully desperate. No. <laughs> I wish I could stay and observe, but alas, I am too busy. Uh, merci et au revoir. Aswell sauntered away. I wanted to pursue him, but there were too many qualifiers. With little other choice led to leave, I turned and headed to meet Dion and Natalie. Could have just fought Aswell then, and why we just kind of let him saunter away, as it said. That, you know, we're just gonna go for it. We received new information from Mobile. An Agile Fisher had appeared in Greece, and Aswell was heading its way. On our way to Greece, we met back up with Gro. He completed his mission. Sir, you're okay. Heard re ready reports. You've done well. Thank you. So Aswell has grown in strength yet again. He himself said that if he acquires the pastoral power of one more Astro Fisher, he will achieve his goal. We must defeat him in Greece. Let us make haste. Sir! Dion and Natalie left their seats as I followed them out of the room. I never heard Gro muttering to himself. You would not approve this, Curtis. When I turned to face Gro, he was looking at his left hand, his expression resolute. In the shadow of the temple where the actual fisher was said to have appeared, we rested one last time before a decisive battle with Aswell. Unable to sleep, I was sitting in front of the campfire when Natalie approached. Struggling to see? Ugh, struggling to sleep, I see. That is unfortunate. That is fortunate, as I have something to say to you. I've watched you throughout our journey together, and I've often questioned whether I can trust you. You are an odd sort. Though strong, you neither boast nor use your power recklessly. What's going on through your mind that is anybody's guess? But I do not believe you to be wicked. I will trust you, for now. But do not take this mean that my guard is down. Cross us and you die. I think what Natalie tries I think what Natalie is trying to say is, you're counting on your help tomorrow. Dion stood on the other side of the campfire. I hadn't noticed him approach. Natalie glared at him in silence. Do not give me that look, Natalie. And Pollux, I want you to know that I am with her on this. Let us work together to stop Aswell. I have a message from Sir Grow too. He says he wishes to speak with you. When I arrived at the meeting place, Grow was waiting for me. Hello. Tomorrow, we face Aswell for the last time. I wanted to say something to you before we venture into battle. In order to defeat him, I shall need to push this wretched power inside me beyond its limits. Grow uncovered his left eye, revealing a gruesome scar. Even so, there is no guarantee I can emerge victorious. His power has grown immensely. Furthermore, I know that my mind will not survive if I harness my complete power. I never expected an easy death, but recently, I've often thought of home. For a brief moment, Gro's expression softened, and he got a distant look in his eyes. His face revealed a warmth and kindness I'd never seen in the hardened warrior. A moment later, it was gone, replaced by his usual severe expression. We must risk everything if we are to defeat as well. If I am victorious, I will likely lose control of myself. Should that happen, kill me. You have the power to do so. 
Bro appeared resolute with a small nod. I vowed to do as he asked. I think I'd be asking this of another for a second time. Never mind. The hour grows late. Let us rest. Let's go. Humanity. Danger awaited me along the road to the temple. However, my journey was not over yet. As well, and his allies had to be taken care of and quickly. Oh, we're facing Daniel again. Uh, you must bring some food with us again. And we should be uh, good to go. Ooh, that follow-up damage might be solid. Let's go with the counter, though. The road to the temple was swarming with ascended warriors. They got here before us, but I can still sense the actual fissure. There's still time. Leave this battle to us, sir. Take Pollux and find the actual fissure. I nodded to Dion and Natalie, and Groh and I sprinted toward the temple. We found our path blocked by Daniel. Our go goal just out of reach behind him. None shall interfere with Lord Aswell. On my life, I swear you will die by my hand. Battle one. Now, it doesn't look like great. Okay. Crap, that's gonna hurt. Woo, that was close. I'm just happy that counter worked in my favor. Oh, when did I get soul charged? Is that soul charged? Go. I Ah, uh, he got me on that. Yeah, he got me. Man, I am so not used to fighting against Mr. Ruby. This is rough. This is how you end it. Need help? Ah. Aswell must have neglected to give you power. I don't need that hideous power. I wanted to remain beautiful, a human, loved by Lord Aswell. Until the end. Daniel, Daniel's weapon dropped from lifeless fingers as he collapsed to the ground. The traitor has been eliminated. We must hurry. Bro and I climbed the temple steps as fast as our legs could carry us. The final battle lay ahead. Are we at the end game already? This doesn't feel like end game stuff. Uh, let's see here. Let's get with more counter. I'll just be aggressive for this one. You are too oh. late. It cannot be. The show is over. The curtain has fallen. Actually, no. It has just risen. Now begins the main act to free humanity from fate's shackles! Soul Edge and Soul Calibur. The first key is complete. Now I need only claim the other one. But before I do, I think you've worn out your welcome here, Grow. <laughs> you hold him off for a while. When I have dealt with these, I shall move in to offer support. Let us go. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, that was a big whip at the beginning there. I wish we got more of that. That was actually really cool to hear them voice and like finally hear how they sound. I feel like I got as much voice on it right, but man, I feel like I was doing I wasn't doing grow justice. Ow. Ah, <sighs> join me. Do you really believe you can win? <laughs> win or lose, I don't care. I'm here because I despise you. That's it! The rest is in your hands. Fool. Have you abandoned all reason? I have several questions went to that platform in the first place and that really gave like some Resident Evil vibes uh, there so that was a little awkward but oh I guess this is a good place to call it for now uh, thank you for joining me on the side adventures and progressing the main storyline of the Ever of Soul in Soul Calibur 6 come back for more as we continue on with investigations PT out